What is up, guys? Punkers here, and today I am bringing you another play-by-play. -play. This is a 1v1 on the map, Octane. Uh, sorry if the audio is a little weird here. Uh, this iMovie updated, and I'm kind of getting used to it. But I hope this sounds all right. I'm gonna try to do this and try to do this entire recording all the way through without stopping, just to make it easier for myself, you know, and to just give you a really thorough play-by-play. -play. Now, um, I'm gonna take this rush class, and I'm gonna rush his cross to B. What I mean by that is when he crosses from his spawn to the B bomb. The reason I do this is because I want to catch him off guard. Because most people think that, you know, they're only not safe when they get to be, not necessarily when they're crossing. So I'm going to try to get him while he's crossing. And as you can see right here, the guy does go strip 18 and get some shots on me. I'm going to jump into bottom of tail and I'm going to lay down right here. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm going to see if he crosses to A. Uh, as you can see right here he does. Now the reason I do that is because most people, when they know where someone is, they'll go to the other bomb site. Now, I kill him right here, but what I was, what I was saying is that when, pe when people, sorry, when people see someone else rush to a bomb site, most of the time, they will go to the other bomb site, so they can get bombed down very easily. They know where the other person is, they know they won't be shot off bomb. So it's just, they think it's a good play, but most of the time, you will see them, and it's just a great way to know where they are as well. Now, uh, we're going to be going to some offense here, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out an MTAR with a silencer, if I'm correct. Yes, I am. And I'm going to smoke the cross to A and uh, rush his gas station. Now, I always carry two smokes. The reason for that is because if you use one, you won't be able to smoke enough of the cross to where he won't be able to see you. you got to use two or else he will see you for some part of it, the beginning or the end. Uh, so you always got to use two. Now, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to stay at this corner and just see if he rushes me. Now, the reason I do this is because, obviously, he knew there were smokes, and he's probably worried that I crossed. And I'm hoping that he's going to come try and clear it out and that I may be able to get a free kill on him just kind of running through gas somewhere or something, but he doesn't push me, so I run in, and I'm going to go garage, and I'm going to go garage because I think that he maybe he saw the smoke, so he came over to maybe see if he could see something in garage, but nothing's here, so I'm going to go top broken, and uh, as I come up here, I'm just clearing stuff out, and I don't see anything, but then I see him pawn 18. I get some shots off, he doesn't kill me, but um, I'm going to peek out again, and this time he actually almost kills me. That was super close, and uh, I almost peek out again. I decided not to, and uh, I'm going to go down the ladder here, and I'm going to push the gas station. The reason I do this is because I think that he thinks I'm going to go garage, but nothing happens. I see him right there, but I think he saw me, so I'm playing really cautious now. I don't see him waiting for me, so I think, oh, maybe he didn't see me. Now, uh, I think, okay, maybe he went top broken, so I'm going to go clear that out, but first I'm going to look in garage. Now, I do see him in garage, shoot him in the back. Pretty good play. I kind of duked him out pretty well. Probably shouldn't have challenged from top broken. That was pretty risky. He almost killed me, as you saw. So, uh, you know, pretty risky play. Ended up working out, but most of the time, I probably shouldn't do that in the future. But it's all good, so we are on defense again, and uh, what I'm going to do, if I'm correct, I'm still not quite sure exactly what I did, but I think I'm going to take a sniper and then watch the cross to A. Now, this is an overkill class that has a vector secondary, so that, you know, if you hit, if you miss your shot or you can't find him, you always have a sub. Now, I do see him with the, uh, the Humvee. He ducks away before I can hit my shot. Now, he doesn't challenge again, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the A-bomb. <coughs> Sorry. Now, the reason for that is because... Um, I think that he thinks that I'm going to go maybe top diner or top pawn because that's obviously where I shot from. And maybe he thinks that I'm nervous, I'm backing up because he knows where I am and I don't know where he is. So I push A, I'm going to push out garage, maybe catch him crossing or something. I don't see anything, but then I see him right here at the at that gas Humvee. So I pretty much shot him in the back almost every round. I think the first round it was a normal gunfight, but he was climbing. So it wasn't really a gunfight, but pretty much outsmarted him every time. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> I am up 3-0. And uh, now I got offense, so I decided to take out a rush class, and I'm going to rush his um his mid map. Now, what the reason I do this is because I think that he's feeling desperate. You know, it is he's down 0-3. He's got to make plays. He's probably about to get really aggressive. So I'm going to try to basically just completely counter that and just have a regular gunfight. Now, as I'm running right here, I do see him laying down mid map. You can't really see it probably that well, but I'm going to hope that he thinks I didn't see him. So I'm going to lay down, wait for him to rush. Now. He doesn't rush, so I stand up to see if he's somewhere else. Now, he is with the 18-wheeler, so I slide in the bottom of the cell, hit some shots, peek out at the right moment, and he's right there. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just going like something in my throat. The reason that I poked out is because, um, you know, he probably needs to move. He doesn't want to be in the same position because then it's pretty predictable. So he wants to get out of there as fast as possible, so I'm going to peek out, you know, when he's running away. Uh, he actually did a really good play there trying to move positions, but he just got some really unlucky timing when I poked out. So that kind of sucks for him, but we both made some good plays. I just won the gunfight. Now, uh, I got defense again. <coughs> God, sorry. And I'm going to go to the tank right here, this diner tank. And I'm just going to watch cross. Now, this is a really slow round. I end up camping most of the time. Just God, there seriously feels like there's like a tortilla chip in my throat or something. 
Uh, I actually just ate some tortilla chips, so that's probably why. But so I'm gonna camp right here. I have an AR and a uh, submachine gun secondary. I have overkill and uh, reflex. If you don't know what reflex is, it's a perk that makes you switch weapons faster. And uh, it also, you can throw equipment faster, like place a trophy faster, but that's not why I use it. I use it just so I can switch to a sub really fast. Now, obviously what I'm doing right here is I'm just camping so I can see the cross to A, and I can see him if he plants B, I can poke out and get the kill. Now, nothing's happening, so I kind of freak out. I inch up a little bit just so I can make sure I can kill him if he plants B. So nothing's going on. Now, uh, in a second here, you'll see him cross to A. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when this happens. So I'm trying to watch it. Uh, as you can see, he just jumped to bottom broken, and he can't really see that well, probably as I can. But I made a stupid decision. I took some shots. That was really dumb. I thought I could see him, but it turns out it was like a barrel or something. But as you can see right here, he pushed out. He gets shots on me. I pull out my sub. I'm gonna lay down, just wait. I wait for a couple of seconds to regen. Then I poke out. He's not rushing me to the left, and I check my right, and there he is. So there, you know, he's really just gotten so unlucky this entire game. Felt kind of bad, but it also felt really good because I kind of outplayed him so I was feeling pretty confident obviously it's 5-0 I kind of got this in the bag now this last round isn't really a round I mean he uh, messaged me when it was 5-0 and said GG's you beat me pretty bad and I said like haha GG's you beat me pretty bad second map and then he ended it so that's pretty much the entire play by play I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do drop a like below leave a nice comment subscribe to see more future content and as always hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video It's all up to you now, finish this!